good. I'm pretty good. This yeah. is a nice weather today. It's beautiful. It's, actually, it's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm burning it out here, but it's beautiful, right? It's so pretty. Yeah. Well, so we're at the Yosemite. Uh, like, how do you feel about being at the Yosemite? Like, have you you've been here before, right? Wow, this is actually my second time being here. And then you have to know that Yosemite is such a like really famous, like the top two, like national park that we have to be here. Like if we like check on Chinese app, right? Xiao Hong Su, and then people, if you search Yosemite, people is like keep like saying that Yosemite is like the place that you have to go. Yeah, it's like, a trip, bro. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm in the middle of America, but we in California. Oh, we just true, in the true, middle true. of California. But surprisingly, I've seen a lot of Asian people here. Wow, but like, do you feel like every time like the people see us, they feel like special too? Yeah. They say, "Oh, I don't see Asian people frequently well, here." That's true. Every Asian person we see, we make like eye contact. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> did, did you have any? Do you have anything like this in China? Wow, you have to say that actually, Chinese have a lot of beautiful places. When you say that Yosemite is like just nothing else comparable, but like I have to say, if you go to China, like it's more like much more better than this. Like Beijing, like mainland, or no? It's more like something the outside, like the countryside part. Oh, really? Yeah. But like, I yeah, but it would be in like South China or North China or just all everything. I mean, overall, everywhere. Okay. Like China is pretty, but like, cause people like mostly like focus on like city. Yeah, right. But like, if you go outside, drive for like two, three hours. There's a lot of like famous places like, similar to Yosemite. Yeah, but it's like different yeah. vibe though. No, I recommend yeah. that to everyone. Like me personally, I'm I'm a, I'm definitely a city person, but like, yo, know, being out in the nature, like, I'm not gonna die, like my allergies are killing me right now. But uh being in the nature is something else, bro. It is very needed. I feel very healed, like my soul feels like I've mm. cleansed it a little bit. D- it, like, yeah, go ahead. So is this your first time in Yosemite? first time wow. i've never even done a road trip or nothing like i used to go snowboarding in like mammoth but like oh. straight up hiking in the mountains like this like no first time so how do you feel about it loved it like, i love it it's beautiful like i can't even describe in words like not even photo or video can really you know capture the beauty of the yosemite exactly mother nature exactly how do you say mother nature in chinese mother nature is like tianran. Like something like that. It's hard. Tianran. 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 Yeah. Bro, you know what's so crazy about fucking like, what's so dope actually. It's crazy and it's dope about fucking Chinese people. Yeah. Even in the middle of fucking nowhere like here, dude, there's a Chinese restaurant. Exactly. Shout out to little Hunan. But like, not Hulan, but like we did see like Korean, Japanese one too. That's true. Yeah. That's true, we did, but like we saw more Chinese. Yeah, exactly. Like Chinese is just everywhere. Yeah. Do you feel like it? Yeah, I like do. even though let's see, like we met someone on the when we climbing yesterday, the people from Malaysia. And then he's also Chinese too. Yeah. When I talked to him, I was like, Wow, Ni Lai Zhongguoma. Like he was saying me to like he's Tang Ren. You know Tang Ren mean, right? What's Tang Ren? Tang Ren is mean like usually people say, Oh, woman, we are Chinese. Woman is Zhongguo Ren. But like he said Tang Ren. Tang Ren mean is like kind of a deep word. Like also people like you know so many like Chinese not Chinese but like people from like Singapore Malaysia like Vietnam they have a lot of like like Chinese but they don't say uh, we are Chinese uh, but like we Chinese are roots. yeah like they say we are Tang Ren so when I say we are Tang Ren I was like wow yeah but That's we met that we was on the side of a mountain this shit was so dangerous and it was oh, so shit. sketchy and I'm over here like yo Mo maybe we should turn around because I just did like I'm ready for it I got I'm down to do it but my shoes I had like ultra boots on. And I'm like tripping out. Then this fucking yeah. Malaysian guy comes out solo. He looks so calm and exactly. so chill. He's like, no, you could do it. Just get a big stick. Like homie came out of nowhere on the side of a mountain, a snowy mountain in just like a shorts and like. Wow. Fucking... To be honest, the Malaysia Tang Ren, he gave us a lot of energy. Yeah, a lot of hope. So many times yeah. I wanted to give up because yeah. I was so dangerous. It's my actually first time yeah. doing that. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. I feel like there's not a lot of Asians we saw this trip. But all the Asians we saw, we had a conversation with them. Like, in this kind of setting, I feel like Asian people are closer because we don't have a lot, you know? Like, he helped us. Wow. He's definitely, like, influenced me. Yeah. Like, if there's, like, he's not, if he's not wearing, like, ultra boots or, like, have that kind of attitude, like, chill, I was like, oh, I couldn't make it. But every time I couldn't climb it up, I would just, like, remind him, yeah. he can do it. Right. Wait, wait. We can do it. Yeah. That's, That's exactly. Why do you think so many, uh, 
foreigners come to Yosemite. Obviously, Yosemite is so popular and so famous, of course, right? But honestly, in America, like being born and raised out here, I don't think so many of my friends have come to the Yosemite. Like, did you do this with your exchange friends or? To be honest, like, you are right. I feel like Chinese people, when they come to America, like exchange student, what? The first thing they're doing like, is road trip. Because wow. like, what I'm thinking is like, even though like Chinese, Korean, what? We always like a group. So like road trip is for us like, easy to like get into the car. Uh-huh. Like seven seats. That's like a, that's a like hot pot, the same thing. We like something gathering. Mm. Like road trip is like gathering. We're having snacks in the car and then we like chatting. It's like more like uh like Asian stuff. I feel like Korean, like Chinese is like the Asian overall is the same. Yeah, Don't the, you feel like that? The group thing for sure. Yes. But do you, does does China have a road trip culture? Because America definitely has a road trip culture because America is so big. But I know China is big, if not bigger, right? Do you guys have a road trip culture, like getting in the car and like I mean, I have to say, because I grew up in a city. Yeah. I grew up in Shenzhen. Yeah. Shenzhen is like really big city. We have like electric kind of stuff, like a rich city, right? right? And then, to be honest, I barely go to road trip in China. Because right. like, just like, I didn't grow up in that culture. Exactly. Yeah. I don't think that's, this, that's yes. an American culture. What, so what makes exchange students want to do that in America? I, all my Korean friends do it too. Like they go to Grand Canyon, Las Vegas, like you know that route? Yeah. Like wh- why do you think they do that? You know what? The first thing I was saying that is the gathering part, right? Yeah. The second thing I feel like, because like most of the exchange students, they come from the city. They don't have that experience since they were oh. young. So they come here and they were like, oh, I can, I can have a car right now. Because you know what? In China, especially Shenzhen, Beijing, Shanghai, right? We so convenient in some way. Like we barely drive. Oh. I don't need to drive. Yeah, but I like come here, yeah. I was like, wow, I got a car. Like, I can go anywhere with the car. Like, even though we go anywhere, like, McDonald's everywhere. Like, but in China, we are like, oh, shit. Like, subway kind of thing, right? But here, I was like, wow, if I have a car, like, just like us, we can pack everything. Yeah. That's easy. We don't need to worry about, like, airplane, something that we don't need, we cannot bring. But, like, here, I think that's the main, main reason. Don't you so, feel like okay. that? Okay. Then I have, then imagine the perspective of an exchange student or a foreigner. You walk into the Yosemite, you drive through. What is the first emotion and first thought? from a Chinese person when they look at the Yosemite? Like, what was your first thought when you first came here? Or even now, because you you came here, you went here when you were kind of young, right? So now that you're grown up and you walk through Yosemite, what is your first thought? The first thought, of course, is the the view is so pretty. The second thought is but like... You guys said, you said you had this in China too. So what makes it so different? The so different is like, you have to know that if it's like Yosemite, this kind of really popular national park in china always people crowded so people. dirty oh. but like in here you feel like wow you at least like enjoy it let it breathe not so many even though yeah it's so many people but like at least they follow the rules yeah, but in yeah, china, china it's like damn the they bring in like eating the banana like do it on the you floor know, i was like what the f- <laughs> <laughs> yo in china i feel like rules are suggestions oh. not requirements <laughs> like oh, oh my god i have to say like china oh shit it's all good, it's all good. Yeah. like chinese is like i have to say the view yeah. like it's like almost the same as yosemite like pretty right. but like if you go there it's like kind of the environment the people you see the environment wow sucks it's just kind of ruined the vibe you, yeah. you cannot enjoy like if it's 100 percent, you only enjoy 10 because right. like the ninety percent is like the dirty. If you go to WC, the restaurant is all like, oh shit. Yeah. You guys call the bathroom WC. <laughs> <laughs> you know, before I came to the United States, I always called WC. Really? WC is kind of I don't know England. Where is that from? Like Britain, I think. Yeah, Britain kind of stuff. Okay. Yep. WC. <laughs> Ready the front, baby. Uh, yeah. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. I can help you. Out. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, let's Okay, continue. we keep going. All right, WC. All right, fucking... Uh. <laughs> so how, how about you? You are like ABK, right? So That's like right. you so you, you stay in Korea for like five years, right? Yeah. Like, have you been to any like like some similar place that's similar to like Yosemite in Korea? Uh, shit, I had the opportunity to, but I didn't really. Uh, I used to live in front of one of the big, the most uh, famous mountains in Korea. It's called Sorak-san. And uh, hold on, hold on. What is that? Sorak-san. Sorak-san. So. So. Rak. 
Rock? San. So rock song. Yeah. Ar- San is mountain in Korean. Okay. And, and it, it's beautiful like this. It's not as big as this, but Korea ha- is, has so many mountains. Like, it's a very mountainous peninsula. And they have a lot of views, but similar to you, it's like, I think America is just much more bigger. Like, it, it just looks crazier. And, but I will say this is so the difference. I think Korea is actually cleaner than America. Wow. Yeah, you, like they totally, are you sure? Yeah, they totally follow directions. Everything is super clean. Like, well, you, I feel ashamed to be a Chinese. No, no, no. I mean, but China's so big, though. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, how can you, like, it's, like of course it's going to be like that. But yeah, that's crazy. But is it like Korea, like so, so, like so, is there so many people go there too? Yeah. Like, so is it a popular oh, place? Yeah, very popular. Ah. Very, very popular. So, like, I can't believe I didn't really go. I went, but I didn't travel enough there. And I lived there for two years. Wow, I know, I but you staying that. like Seoul kind of place, right? Nah, no, no, no. Like, it's not no. in Seoul. It's, it's like in the countryside. It's like this. Okay. You know, so you're a city person. I'm a city person, yeah. right? Why do you think it's necessary to come out to the countryside every once in a while and appreciate nature? Wow, first of all, I have to say like, because like city is really like crowded. Like you every day is like busy on working or what, but how if you think like you spend like a couple days, like breathe some like air kind of stuff. That's a kind of relax. Because especially like city, like you're always working on kind of stuff. Like, can you imagine that we do podcasts in Yosemite? I never thought about that though. That's, yeah, that's really crazy. dope. It's uh, a vibe. Like, com- like it's even though it's like we're saying the same topic, but like it's different feeling. It's kind of cleaning your soul. 100%. Yeah. And also I think at the end of the day as humans, experiencing mother nature and embracing mother nature that is our human nature like this is like aligning to what our soul is you know like all that city shit like and i love it i'm a city person but that's man-made that's not really you know what i mean like that's just through time and the development but this is our natural state so when you're in like when you're surrounded yourself like climbing a mountain something that's put on earth naturally but it's so much bigger than you there's there's a very uh deep spiritual connection that you get with the world and the earth exactly so how about like when we are like traveling road trip like this right usually you are the person that prefer to like step out to go to restaurant or like you prefer to like prepare food by yourself and eat it inside right well which one do you prefer usually i like to cook you like to cook i like to cook but like i mean because i love food but every once in a while like like i like to cook but the one thing i love about the city you can get like really high level restaurants you know what i mean i agree that 